Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new, my name is Andrea. I love to film videos all about cruelty-free beauty products, and there are definitely high-end makeup products that I love, but for the most part, I love to focus on drugstore and affordable makeup because there are so many amazing options at the drugstore and from affordable brands. I have a video series on my channel where I share drugstore makeup products that are better than high-end makeup products. So today I have the third video in that series. If you guys want to check out the other ones, I'll link them in the description box below. But today I have a ton of really good products to share with you guys. Some of these are newer releases. Some of them are older underrated favorites, but all of these are so, so good. And you really are getting such good quality for an affordable price point with these products. So I'm excited to share them with you. So let's kick it off with some lip products. That's kind of what inspired this specific video. So last year, Milani came out with their color fetish matte lipstick line. And at the time they just released a line of nude lipsticks, various shades of nude. And I was actually in the middle of looking for a good nude lipstick line. Line. So I picked up a few of them and first of all the packaging is absolutely gorgeous These look like high-end lipsticks. I love the design of them I think they are so pretty to look at and the actual formula is so good as well. These are incredibly lightweight They're super comfortable to wear a lot of the time matte lipsticks can feel really dry and uncomfortable on the lips That is just not the case with these. These are so comfortable to wear. They're very easy to apply They have really good pigmentation and they just feel really silky and smooth, but you definitely get like a true matte finish when you wear these. So I have two from the matte lipstick line and then earlier this year they actually released a spring collection from the same line but really bright bold intense colors which is something that I've been wanting to get back into. I have missed bright bold lipstick so much so I actually picked up two of those and they're just as good. In fact I almost like these a little bit better because they are so intense and vibrant but they're still really comfortable. They stay in place really well for just like a traditional lipstick. So no matter what type of lipstick you're looking for, you're going to be able to find a great option from this line. I have other high-end matte lipsticks, but I always find myself reaching for these because they are just a little bit better, honestly, in terms of quality. The packaging is gorgeous. The formula is so nice. I do love lipstick, but for day-to-day -day wear, I tend to reach for a lip oil or a lip gloss, and Milani also released an amazing lip oil formula. There are so many expensive high-end and luxury lip oils, and I can't say that I've tried all of them because, to be honest with you, I feel like a lot of lip oil formulas end up feeling and looking very similar on the lips. There are subtle differences. Some might be preferable for one reason or another, but I love this formula. It's under $10. They have four amazing flavors. Again, I think the packaging is just really pretty. Milani definitely creates really beautifully packaged products for affordable price points. I like the doe foot applicator. It applies the product so nicely. It's really comfortable, really shiny, very glossy and hydrating like a lip oil. First of all, these smell so good. They have amazing scents and I love that there are a couple of different options. But what I like about these is that these have a little bit more pigment in them compared to other lip oils I've tried. Other lip oils end up looking the exact same on the lips, just like a very very subtle hint of color and these aren't too intense but I feel like the color stays in place even once that initial glossy layer wears off. I don't know that I would say your lips are stained but I do feel like you have like a hint of color like almost like you ate a popsicle in the summertime and your lips just have a little bit of that color left on them. So not only are these so comfortable really shiny really hydrating you have a little bit of color they're affordable they're under ten dollars so do not spend like twenty thirty dollars on a lip oil you can get the same quality and even quality that I think is a little bit better for a less expensive price point with these from Milani. The last lip product that I wanted to mention is this one from ColourPop. ColourPop has a ton of lip products and I really like their lip pencils, their lippy sticks, their lipsticks. There are so many great options to choose from, but this is one of the best lip products they've released. And these are the ColourPop Glowing Lips. So I'll swatch a couple of my favorites for you guys. These are the ideal spring lip color in my opinion. They are really comfortable. They feel like a lip balm, but they have more of a glossy sheen. They're kind of like a lipstick lip balm, lip gloss hybrid. You get the shine of a lip gloss, the comfort of a lip balm, and then the color payoff of a lipstick. They're so comfortable to wear. I have one on my lips today. So today I'm wearing the shade Indulge Me, which is kind of like my go-to nude for everyday wear. I love these because they last on the lips pretty well for more of like a traditional glossy lipstick formula. They're not transfer proof, but they're incredibly 
incredibly comfortable to wear. So you can reapply them, you can let them wear off on their own just naturally, and I can't get enough of them. I think they are amazing. Definitely one of the best lip products ColourPop has released, and I would not question it if these were in like high-end packaging and they were sold for like three times the price tag. The packaging is just like very basic plastic packaging, but I think it's cute, it's easy to see the colors, and I think they are definitely worth a shot. Another product from ColourPop that I wanted to share with you guys is actually a pressed powder. I've tried pretty much every pressed powder out there. My skin is very oily, so I'm always looking for the next best thing. And this one is an amazing option if you want your skin to look matte, but you also want a really smooth look. I feel like a lot of powders will make your skin look matte, but they might enhance texture. Or they might be a little bit smoothing on the skin, but they wear off within a few hours. This one is perfect. It's their Pretty Fresh Pressed Face Powder. Now they do say you can use this as a powder foundation or as a setting powder, it definitely has coverage to it. So you're probably not going to want to use this if you prefer like a very lightweight, almost barely there product. This definitely makes your skin look flawless. I like to use it on top of liquid foundation because it just gives me a little bit more coverage. It locks everything into place all day long. And I do deal with a lot of texture on my skin. I have breakout prone skin and this just makes everything look super smooth when I use it. I also love using this under the eyes to set my concealer into place because it ensures that my concealer will not move all day long and it just kind of smooths over those areas where I deal with a lot of fine lines. I don't typically use this as a powder foundation but you totally can if that's something you're looking to do and I'm just really impressed by the quality. I would say this is maybe somewhat similar to the Charlotte Tilbury powder with a little bit of extra coverage. That Charlotte Tilbury powder used to be my favorite because it made my skin look so smooth. This one makes my skin look even more smooth but it has a little bit of coverage, which I appreciate because some days I just want to add a little more if I'm feeling like I need it. So this is a great option. I definitely recommend it. One of the best powders I've tried. This is an older favorite. It's been around for a while, but I recently rediscovered it and I cannot stop using it. It is so good. This truly feels like a high-end product and the packaging feels high-end as well. It's the Flower Beauty Light Illusion Foundation. So I have two different shades. I kind of mix these to get my perfect shade. I have L1 and then also L3. I tried this for the first time years ago and I just fell in love because I do have oily skin. I think for a long time I had the thought or the belief that I couldn't use glowy products and that's just not the case. You can definitely use glowy makeup, luminous makeup if you have oily skin. You just have to find the right products that work well for you. And this foundation is perfect because it definitely gives you like a true glowy look, but it stays in place really well even on oily skin. This is a really nice medium coverage foundation that you can definitely build up in areas where you need it. You can sheer it out with a beauty sponge. It really is one of the most high quality foundations that I've ever tried. It blows me away every single time I use it because it looks so pretty on the skin. So if you are looking for a long lasting luminous foundation that has pretty good coverage, definitely check out this one from Flower Beauty. It is so, so good. Elf Cosmetics is definitely one of my favorite brands. I think they do such a good job at keeping their products pretty affordable, but they still create really high quality products that definitely rival high-end products out there. And their Camo Powder Foundation has topped all of the other powder foundations that I've tried. I've tried quite a few powder foundations over the past year, and there are some really good alternatives from high-end brands, but this one is $11, and I like it so much better. The quality is amazing. This is a really full coverage powder foundation, but you can also achieve light coverage if you use a fluffier brush. So it's definitely customizable. I like the way this looks on the skin. I have it on today and I feel like it's not overly mattifying. Some powder foundations can be a pretty dry, which I don't mind because I do have oily skin, but I've heard people who have dry skin say they really like this as well. It has a really creamy feel to it. So as you apply it to the skin, it just melts into the skin in a really natural way. I like to apply this with a damp beauty sponge and really press it into my skin and I feel like you get a really natural finish but a full coverage finish as well. I honestly am blown away by this. It is one of the best products I've tried from e.l.f. and I can't get enough of it. So if you like powder foundation, definitely check this out. You'll get full coverage. You'll get a really beautiful, soft, almost like semi-matte finish that stays in place really well. I've talked about this quite a bit on my channel, but I just, I love it. It has definitely replaced the high-end alternatives that I've tried. This is the e.l.f. Power Grip Primer. 
anywhere. It is a very good alternative or dupe for the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip, but I like this one better because it's a little bit more hydrating. It has a slightly thicker texture, so I just find that it locks my foundation into place even better than the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip. If you're looking to extend the wear of your foundation, this is a must-have. I apply this before I go in with any foundation, and at the end of the day, my foundation is still locked into place really well. My skin might start to look a little bit oily, but my foundation doesn't actually wear off like it does when I don't use this. So this really is a long-lasting makeup primer. It's also really hydrating, super comfortable on the skin, such a great option and it's $10. So I feel like Catrice as a whole is a little bit of an underrated brand. They have amazing options that are a little bit more affordable. One of my favorites is the More Than Glow Highlighter and I have the shade Supreme Rose Beam. I also think they have a gold one which I want to pick up because I love this on days when I do want more of an intense highlight. I feel like for day to day, I go for a softer, more subtle highlight, but there are days where I want something really intense, especially if I'm doing more of a dramatic makeup look, and this is perfect. It's only a few dollars, but the texture is really nice. Like I said, I deal with a lot of texture on my skin, specifically in this area and then on my chin as well. And what I like about this is that it doesn't really enhance texture compared to other intense highlighters. Sometimes the more intense you go with your highlighter, the more that it draws attention to texture on your skin, which is totally fine, which is totally fine. Everyone has textures, so never feel embarrassed about texture on your skin, especially if you want to wear like a really vibrant highlighter go for it. The truth is no one notices those things. We definitely tend to notice them more on ourselves than other people do. But if you are feeling like you want something that's just a little bit more smooth on the skin, this is a great option. It's so pretty. I also love using it as an inner corner highlight on the eyes or as eyeshadow all over the lid. I think it's such a gorgeous option. I get asked all the time what my favorite affordable makeup brushes are. There are so many good options. You really don't have to spend a ton of money. But one of my favorite brands for the past few years has been Profusion. They have have eye brushes, they have face brushes. I just repurchased three of them, so I wanted to show you guys them what they look like brand new before I actually started using them. I rarely repurchase makeup brushes because I just have a ton that I've collected over the years, but Profusion definitely makes some of my staples. So whenever you know my Profusion brushes are dirty and I don't have them right away to use, I get so sad because they just do such a good job. So I repurchased a couple. This one is their angled powder brush, which I love to use for cream blush or cream bronzer. It's a little bit smaller than some of the other angled powder brushes I've tried, so I feel like it just fits perfectly on the cheeks. It gives you a really beautiful diffused look every single time. I also love their flat setting powder brush, so I'll use this in two ways. I'll either use it to set my under eye concealer or I'll use it for highlighter. So I like to have two of them because that way I can use one for powder, one for highlighter and not mix them up, but it's great for either purpose. And then their eye brushes are so good. The small pointed eyeshadow brush is one of my favorites for inner corner highlight or for blending eyeshadow on the lower lash line. I know Profusion is sold at Walmart. I don't know if the brushes are sold at Walmart, so I just buy mine online. They ship them to me, everything is good. I definitely recommend checking them out if you're looking for just really good affordable brushes. I've had some of mine for years and they've held up so well. The last product I wanted to share with you guys is the NYX Thick It Stick It Eyebrow Gel. I love this so much. It's been a while since I've tried a new eyebrow gel that I've just fallen in love with. And ever since I used this for the first time, I just, I can't get enough of it. This brow gel is just an all around amazing option because it locks your brows into place really well. Once it dries down, your brows will not move. This also has fibers in it, so it makes your brows look a little bit thicker, just really full and voluminous, and it has really good pigment. So if you have very light or very sparse brows, it's going to help define them really nicely. And I just think it's a little bit more of a dry formula compared to other brow gels I've tried. Sometimes if the formula is really wet, I tend to make a mess all over my brows. I'll be combing it through my brows, I'll mess up, it will get all over the place, and if it's really wet, it will smear, it'll be hard to clean up. That's just not the case with this one. The only downside, which I've mentioned in a few other videos, is that the wand is very, very big. So if you have really thin brows like me, it is a little bit easy to kind of make a mess, but I'll just go in and be really careful. And I love this because it builds so well. So you can run it through your brows and then gradually build it up to get more of an intense look. It's just so user-friendly. So I definitely 
recommend this one. Again, do not spend $25, $30 on a brow gel. There are so many amazing options at the drugstore. I love this one. I love ColourPop. Elf makes a great option. You really could try any of them, but this one is just a nice all around option. Okay guys, that's everything I wanted to share with you in today's video. If you guys liked this video, I do have two other videos just like this with completely different products. So I'll link them in the description box below so you can check them out. I'll also put them right here on the screen for you, but thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I will see you guys very soon with a new video. Bye.